Ahoy, everybody! My name is Steve Main, and welcome to the Daily Storm. For those of you joining us for the very first time, this is a video series where I jump into Heroes of the Storm and play a daily quest. Um, today, through a most auspicious means, my daily quest is to play an assassin. And since it's National Talk Like a Pirate Day, I decided let's roll with it, and I'm going to be playing Pirate Falstad. <laughs> so, yo-ho, let's get this on. Um, I'm also going to be using... I've been fiddling with a build revolving around the Lightning Rod talent and the Wingman special ability. Or, the Lightning Rod ability and the Wingman talent. <laughs> And we're going to see how well it works. So let's jump into a quick match and see what we get. Let's fly! All right, we are about halfway into the Infernal Shrines. It's going to be Falstad, Sylvanas, Gaslil, Oriel, Leoric, Alarak, Brightwing, Artanis, Ariel, and Gaslil. Ah, uh, Lord, we've got a lot of lane push. Uh, beyond that, healers and support. Healer, uh, healer is a support. Healer and tank. Healer and tank. Actually, they have two supports with Brightwing. Um, we've got two specialists, so that works out. This is going to be an interesting match, to say the least. Not sure how it's going to go super well. Prepare yourselves for battle. Say hello to the team. Sounds great. Are you prepared to rain death upon our foes? Why not? Mm, maybe. I've got some time. Alright, so as I said, I was going to be doing a Wingman build. Uh, Wingman revolves around Lightning Rod talent, which we're going to grab Wingman right now. Lightning Rod is an ability where I use it and target an enemy hero, and they are going to start taking damage as Lightning shoots from me to them for every four seconds. Or for about four seconds, they're going to continue to take, they're going to take an initial blast, and then a little bit of damage from that point forward. Um, the wingman ability is essentially, well, it is bribe. It's bribe in every way, shape, or form. I get stacks for minion kills. I get stacks for, uh, enemy minions that die near me. It used to be like a bonus for heroes and stuff, but no more. Let's see. So, really, I'm not concerned with kills right now. I want to be close enough that I get points for the minion kills, but that's about it. Okay, move back here, hit this. There's no need to be stingy. in the right lane. Activate the shrine, defeat its guardians, and the punisher will be ours. So we are going to take Take hammer strike, basic attacks with me. Get out of the yard swim.
nice. Anyway, I'm trying not to get in anybody's way, and I'm not doing a great job of it. This. Back up over the wall. Get us to do the jump. That was an excellent use of Polymorph by uh, the other team's right wing. Oh, this is going very badly. Although most of our team is in different lanes, so like the Punisher is just being allowed to run rampant here. the range of the ability. Uh, Gazlo and I... Gazlo and Sylvanas still bottom. Stayed way too long and suffered for it. Team had an amazing push. Gazel is going to need help because he's about to get jumped hard. Another shrine will be active soon. Won't let our enemies your spirit is strong, mortal. Right, the bottom lane is going to be where everything goes down here in a second. Do not let our enemy claim the Punisher's power. I need to go back because actually I can just hit the fountain here. We're going to take Mighty Gusts. Uh, that was a problem. I'm not going to be able to push them both out. We got the Punisher that time, that is fantastic. They're pushing mid through. I'm gonna move over here. Yeah. They are out of mid and they're heading to you, lady. Nothing to 
So, um, I should point out, like, I, I turned this in twice, I've got a 10% bonus on Lightning Rod, I was really hoping for more at this point. Uh, once in a, a mercenary camp goes up, I should be able to get... Oh, this one's gonna be up in three seconds. Okay, I can go after that. I'll swing down here, grab this and then fly in and help. They're coming for you, buddy. We are gonna do. We're gonna do uh, Flow Rider, which will cause my basic abilities to recharge when Tailwind is up. That was a nice shot. I need one more minion. To, oh no! Damn it! thought Leoric was with us there. I guess he went down to get that bottom camp. And he's not going to get that. We need to stay to And claim the shrine. Show its guardians your resolve. Yeah, everybody. This is fail. Just no more. Be warned. A frozen right, Leo and Gazlu didn't show up. We don't have anything. That was a really nice hit. Gazler back here for defense. We are gonna do uh, Tailwind comes back faster, that'll let me use my abilities quicker. Alright. 
there. Let's all go to the shrine. Let's all do this. Come on, everybody. Ah, the skies await. If we all go together, we can win this. <laughs> and if we don't, we should just give up and do something else. Get this where we need it to be. We have summoned the Mega Punisher. Killing I'm gonna push with this for the mercenary kills. Whether we get this all the way through or not, I don't know. We very well may. Two full turn ins here. I may not need to do another one, although, if I need to, if I'm going to take uh, Oh, excellent. Very good. Good game, everybody. You serve the heavens well, heroes. Uh, I feel better about that. Uh, oh, that's Argazlo. Very nice. Hey, I got three mercenary captures. Uh, 38% team damage. Like I am totally gonna give that to to our tank. I love how support almost always has best killing spree. <laughs> It's a new system. Uh, overall, I think this build works pretty well. Uh, it still needs a little fine-tuning, I think. Um, for the talents I used, and if you've got some better ideas or some other options, let me know. I took Wingman. Like I said, that was kind of the basis for this, being able to jump in and grab mercenary camps. It wasn't super necessary with Gazlo and Sylvanas, but I still wanted to try it. Uh, hammer gains at uh, 4, which basic attacks heal for 20% of the damage dealt to my primary targets. Uh, charged up increases number of lightning strikes by 2 and ups the range, which just makes this payoff better. Uh, Mighty Gust pushes the enemies away, slows their movement speed by 40%. Flow Rider, while Tailwind is active, which is part of his trait, your basic attacks recharge 100% faster. Aerial Gust reduces the activation time for Tailwind from 6 to 3 seconds, making increases your movement speed as well, so you move around faster. And Nexus Frenzy at the end, which increases attack speed by 20% and range by 20%. Um, right now, I don't know that this is a build I would use all the time, and I certainly wouldn't want to use it on every map, but I think it works pretty decently here. Uh, you do have to keep Faustat in a lane more often than not to build up the bribe stack so that you can turn him in. This this tops at 80 at uh, 80 percent, and or no, I guess 
uh, bribe tops out at 80 percent for some re 80 stacks. For some reason, I thought that was 80. Per you could get up to 80 percent with it. Huh. So then, presumably, I can go beyond 80 percent. I just have no idea how I would accomplish that. I think the best I've done is 35 percent boost. But uh, do let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, there's going to be a link to the Extra Life Marathon. It's a charity marathon taking place in November to help raise money for children's hospitals. Um, please follow the link. Check it out. Uh, help support somebody taking part in the, the, the event. Uh, the link specifically goes to my sponsor page, but if you want to just look around and see who else is running and taking part in it, please do. Or, you know, sign up and get involved yourself. As long as you can help out the kids, that's all that's worth it. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.